All right, welcome back to some RPG Maker MV. Today we'll be continuing the work on Mission 2. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten much done off screen because uh, we're nearing the end of the semester, which means I'm going to have to do quite a bit for school, but uh, yeah, maybe we can get somewhere with it today. If not, I'll destroy all of you. No, okay, not really. Or will I? No, probably not. Yeah, we have a special guest with us today. It's me. Whoa, oh, okay. So I've been trying to work on the third floor here. Hey, DJ Gamer, welcome to Stram. That was quick. You must have been sitting in here spying on me again, as you tend to do. Oh. In any case, let's see. This will be the Don's office, so I want it to be somewhat fancy. I, don't know, I guess that works. I didn't have any thrones in this one, did I? I kind of had one here, but there are, there are those old fancy thrones. I don't think they'll work fine for the dawn. The dawn. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Give him one of these. Maybe. <laughs> So she's admitting it. Let's destroy her. No, not really. Uh, I think I was using... Yeah, okay. Window, 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 window. Oh, let's see. So, of course, the uh, trick here is that you're going to have to come up here to the Don's office. You may have showed up as soon as... I saw you start RPG make. Oh, okay. So you, you you like knew it was coming. You just didn't know when. It, yeah, I got vastly distracted by Arc Five, which is like surprisingly good. Um. Hmm. Plant. Yeah. Hey, Mac Booyah. Are you ready to fight yet? No, I'm kidding. Okay. Because we're gonna... Oh, shoot. He should have carpet, shouldn't he? Ah, crud. Oh, too late now. Too lazy. Okay. Oh, wait. Here we go. I didn't notice this chair before. That's a much uh, that's a much fancier chair than the one that I got over here. Yeah, let's, let's give him this one. Okay. Actually, I should check out the solidity of that chair really fast. Okay, I guess that's fine. Sure. It's a little awkward, but I can live with it. Well, that'll still have the faded music. I, I don't know, maybe I'll give it a different tune, but... Uh, yeah, so far I think the same tune will fit. Tune world. I think I'm just gonna close most of this off. There's gonna be an office over here that I don't actually want you to be able to access yet, but uh, maybe in later in the game you can come through and access it. But I don't have anything for you to do in it right now. I'll meet you in TTT. It's on. It's on like the Kong of Donkeys. Yeah. In any case, we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Hmm. You're right. The music wouldn't reach that high up. Not unless I put these holes in the floor. Yeah, now it will. Okay. We have so much to do as well. Actually, well, this will be the end of the mission mostly. I just need someone here stopping you from actually getting in. And then you can bribe him with pizza. There's pizza. There's pizza. Do be happy. So 
So let's make some pizza. It'll be pepperoni specifically. I don't think there's going to be an icon for it though. It'll have the fire icon. Mmm, pizza. Not consumable. The occasion is never. Scope is nobody. Is pizza. Okay, let's see. Okay, so right when you get here, we're going to auto run an event. Or the guard says he's hungry. He's hungry. And then we'll kill the event. So, team, I was thinking about uh, some bonus areas in this game for the player. If you've not added the concept in Lost Lineage or ever done with ZQuest altogether. Nope, certainly not done with ZQuest altogether. I just have not had an interest in, uh, what the heck? Oh, I named this guy downstairs. <laughs> Whoops. In any case, I just have not had the time or the desire to go work on ZQuest. Except, like, today I kind of felt like it, but, uh, I want to get this, I want to keep the RPG Maker stuff rolling. Well, the Roland's good. And especially since, like, after this week, I'm not going to be able to, I don't know, do some stuff for a while. Hmm. Kind of remove the possibility for the Don having a fancy TV. So let's remove those, and now the Don has a fancy TV. It has the same thing on as every other TV we've seen. Oh, he's got a fruit basket, because he's the Don. He don't care. You gonna make fun of his fruit basket? He's gonna make fun of your dead body. Ah, okay. What was I looking for? Oh, I need the computer, so you can, like, progress the plot. There, there's the computer, Adora. To progress the plot. Progress the plot, Chopper. Also, I think I noticed a tile error when I was testing. Hmm. No, maybe not. Hmm. Well, yep, here we go. Okay. Bonus areas. Bonus. There's areas of bonus everywhere. But can you see that the bonus is for me? And if it's not, I'll steal it. And then it'll be mine anyway. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Alright, let's see. What I want to do now is... Uh, actually, okay, wait. Let me, let me set this up as events for darkness. With the conditional branch that you have the pizza. If you don't have the pizza, then there's gonna be some trouble. You have the pizza, we're gonna do nothing. Otherwise, the guard's gonna see you. Okay, wait, actually, hmm. This isn't going to do it. Alright, I'm going to employ my favorite technique, forcing you to walk on the tile I want you to walk on. Now I think it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah.
I have to install Yonfly's. Uh, Yonfly is a plugin that would let me mess with uh, the the self control codes or the self switches because these these quite aren't. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I guess I could just use a switch for now. Pizza guard. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just use a switch for now. That's no problem. All right. The main thing was to add. All the things that pissed you off about ZC, either by way of the program or maker being trollish or not following the plan of said level or puzzle ETC. So, there was some point when I was going to make a quest just entirely based on stuff like that. And, like, Parallel Worlds was going to have its own level, um, referencing Impa's Ways, maybe some of the Parallel Tower, uh, possibly Dawn of Twilight for freaking deep darkness. I don't know, just a lot of, lot of random good goofy fun like that, but, uh... Well, we've got darkness in any case. All right, so let's see. You, okay, so you're not allowed up here. Then uh, we're just going to kill you, probably. Let's kill him. I need a... Let's see. Of one elite bounds. Elite bound stop. It's going to shoot you with the sharpshooter. Oh, you know what? One of my skills... Ended up with a screwy cast animation. This one. Quick stab. Okay. Uh, I want 124 on that. Okay. Good thing I caught that, too. I was, like, randomly playing some of the earlier game today. And uh, I noticed the quick stab somehow ended up with a screwy cast animation. I must have, uh, at some point, messed with 122 and not remembered it. Uh, that's okay. All right. Oh, so now we finish the event. How did you get up here? And then we're gonna kill you. Elite bounds. You're dead. Hey, if you do have the pizza, he's gonna. Actually, hold on. I should like have him run at you or something. One, two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got Martin Dracon. Thank you for following. Here's Link with a cup of Java for you. It's on the shiny blue background because I never figured out how to get it to work properly on the stream. All right, so we give him the pizza. All right, we're going to remove the pizza then from your inventory. Welcome to the tasty pizzas. That'll be my, like... Marky air thing. I don't know. It'll be nothing. It's just welcome to the Strum of Doom, we usually say around here. Also, chicken. Fantastic. We'll make a chicken item in your honor. It will give plus five to chicken. And if you attain 25 chicken, you become a cuckoo from Zeldo. And you just devour everyone because that's what cuckoos do. Hi, Zero. Yes, I am winning. Are you mathing? I think you're mathing. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. So he's going to eat the pizza. There's not like an eating sound, is there? Yeah, if there was, I probably wouldn't, uh... Probably wouldn't play it anyway. The deep darkness could be added here as a nod to the channel. If you trap the player until said mission is done, or they get the key after beating the main boss of that dungeon. I know you have something like that in the first mission, just a longer mission-based idea. Yeah, something like that. Deep Darkness also has to feature ridiculous enemies and problems with F6. That's generally how it's going to go. Uh, okay, let me see how how much vision you have here. How far can I get you to run off? Alright, you can see just at the door. Alright. Well, Oh, something happened. Let's see what happened. I know we don't have the pizza. Hmm. Interesting. Move down, move down, turn right. Okay. Huh. Why did that mess up? down and turn right. There, there shouldn't be a problem with that at all. What? <laughs> the flood? Yeah, we don't have the pizza. We should run the battle. Why aren't you running the battle? It's also freezing on something. I don't know what it's freezing on. Alright. Hmm. Okay, it wasn't breaking on the loop. I thought that it might actually be breaking on the loop. Okay. But it surprisingly wasn't. It just is not processing the battle for some reason. Huh. If party has pepperoni pizza. You, you don't. Oh, no? No, because this isn't the testing. Yeah, you, you definitely don't have the pizza. What? <laughs> okay, hold on. It's got to be something simple. Okay. If they have the pepperoni pizza, they don't, so it goes to the else statement, which it's running except this thing. Did I not put any enemies in the... No, they're there. There's one clearly right there. Battle's fine. Plays the battle. I, I don't know why it's not running the battle. Also, wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait, 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 hold on. Ah, uh, okay, all right, okay. All right. It's freezing on this, because I got a freaking control thing that's not doing anything. All right, okay, that's spillover from the copy-paste. And he's gone. What? <laughs> oh, I have to delete this page. There we go. Okay. Okay. Trying to run his second page that was blank. Okay, alright. And then he kills you. You're dead. You lose the game. You shouldn't have come upstairs. But don't worry, we've got some save points for you right down here. 
Alright, so there's that. That also explains why his exclamation showed up, because it wasn't supposed to do that, I suppose. It really doesn't make sense that it did. Uh, let's see, where do we have balloons here? I guess we don't have balloons. We'll do balloons beforehand. Show balloons. Show the balloons. Kind of bothers me. Okay. There we go. Okay. There, now it actually looks like he can see him. So, there you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's that. But if you do have the pizza, let's see, what do we got here? We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. gonna run off. He's gonna run off very fast. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just in case that's too many. Oh, you know what? Okay, skip if can't move. How about that? Alright. Uh, then he's going to leave because we're going to turn on a switch. We'll, we'll say Pizza Guard is on. We're going to turn the pizza guard on. And then Blaine's going to do his, his little face thing, and that'll be it. That's the boss battle of the club, by the way. <laughs> Giving that guy the pizza. That's it. That's, that's the boss. You give him the pizza, and you're, you're free to come in here and mess around with whatever, basically. Okay. Well, you have a free apple, too. Turn my sound effect. Give you an apple. Seventeen, right? Found an apple. You did it. You got the apple. It's yummy. And kill it with a self switch and we're done. Okay, good. Great. There's a dollar in the trash. The Don is that that fed up with his money. Stupid mouse, don't disconnect on me. Okay. Alright, I'm getting lazy. I know where else there was a dollar. And there's a dollar in here. Go away. Drink cake. Welcome to Stram. I don't think I greeted you yet. And it's like one dollar. It's like, ooh. But I know the player will be glad to have it because currently darkness. No, okay. All right, if switch pizza guard is on, boy. Okay, that's done. Actually, I didn't. I don't think I killed this yet. No, I didn't. I certainly didn't. Okay. Now we have to kill this one too. All right, great. Okay, let's test it out. Oh, I don't have a way to give you the pizza yet. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you the pizza down here where there's pizza. Ooh. So one thing I was wanting to do is I, I wanted you to have to steal the pizza when this guy is not looking. I don't know if that'll work though. I might just have you take it. I don't really care about the stealth too much with the pizza. Like, the idea is that he's got to be face turning away, but I don't... 
I don't know. I think. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> okay. Do you have a name for him? Oh, I do. He's Bardozer too, apparently. Good for me. All right. So we'll say if. Okay, so if Bardozer 2 is facing... What would he have to be facing to not see you? He'd have to be facing down. Wait. That's so annoying, actually. That's not going to work. Yeah, the only time he wouldn't see you is if he face, he's facing right. Okay. He's facing right. You get the thing... With pizza. Picked up the pizza. You picked up the pizza. Whoops, this also needs an else branch, come to think of it. And now we need to shut this thing off. Okay, else. We have a uh, balloon icon, exclamation on Bardozer 2, and he says, hey you, don't mess with that, don't touch that pizza, or something like that, I don't know, <laughs> I just mainly need to see if it works. Alright, back down we go. Wait, he's facing right here! Oh, no! 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 Alright, that's it. <laughs> You're not facing right at the end of this route. Screw you. I'm not doing this jank. Okay. He's gonna tinker with something over here when he's done. What is he? One, two, three. He's he's got to tinker with something here. Okay. So start tinkering, buddy. Here he'll have like his own food or something. I don't know. You know, I just I need to simplify it. It's, it's gonna drive me crazy otherwise. I just don't want to bother. Oh, don't touch the pizza. Alright, cool. Look, he's kind of got psychic powers there, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Ah, oh, he would have it there, too. Ah. Oh. Ugh, such a disgusting act of humanity. Humanity. Okay. Well, here's how we fix this. Okay, he's got a brand new route. What brand new route does he have? Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no. He's got a new route, got, got a new route. All right, let's see. Uh, I think the rest of this is fine. All right, I think this is okay, just like glossing over it. Let's go, Shaolin Showdown. Oh, there's also new items I have to get. Don't touch that pizza. Now it's okay to touch the pizza. I gotta get some new items. I put some stuff up here. There's a Starvik juice. And there's six dollars. Okay. 
I'm going fast because there's, there's, the timer's still on this file, so I'd have to like really like speed it up. Okay, that should be okay. Just come here. <laughs> I just need to get rid of you. I also got rid of the uh, the music boost on these battles because it was being very inconsistent. Got a box. Standing here's a bummer. He's hungry. Whoa, how'd you get up here? Pepperoni pizza? Do nothing. You're daft. Clearly, if you give him the pizza, he'll ignore you and you can continue on with the quest. Just give him the blasted thing already. Great. I'm starving. I didn't break the loop. Alright. The movement also didn't work the way I had foreseen. So let's see. I forgot to break the loop. There we go. Break the loop. Okay. Um. Hmm. It didn't wait until he finished his movement for some reason. Oh, God, because again, I like chose the wrong event. All right, let's see. Come to think of it, I also need you to have a reason to use the, uh, well, maybe I don't have to. The timer thing is actually a side quest. You don't need to do it. It just opens, like, everything up here, though. Uh, you can still, like, sneak out and get by and everything. But if you want the bonus items, you have to do the timer. The way I'm going to avoid breaking the timer is once you finish the main mission, I'm going to shut the timer off. And then that's, that's like, it for the timer. It's basically done. You're basically free to screw off and do whatever else. Uh, I to, okay, let's see. I have to figure out... Right, I chose the wrong event. Okay. I think that's the only thing that went wrong there. See, you know, all these items I'm getting out of these cabinets and everything, they're all bonus. Yeah, I'll just attack them first. Hungry? Did you get up here? That pizza. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I have to break the loop at the very end. Let's see if that works. on. Okay, that's done. He's gone. Alright, cool. Now you're like free to roam around over here. Found an apple. Dollar. Even though it's bonus, do you think it'll balance a bit around the new items? I don't need to yet because I'm not giving you equipment or anything. Right now, it's just a bunch of random crap like potions and juice and whatever. And some boxes. Do you have boxes? Boxes? Box, 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 box. I'm just leaving all this money. Oh, I did that already. Good for me. Alright, let's go die.
See, I don't have a reward for you yet, do I? I don't think I put a reward here yet. A box of wine. Is that a nuke, Vlad? It looks like I didn't mess with like any of these events at all. Uh, I want sound. I need sound. Place the box of wine. That should go first. And then item. Got item. Done. Okay. I feel like I should require the key for at least one thing, though. I don't know. Kind of bothers me that I'm not using it for anything in the main quest. But at the same time, I want to avoid situations that you're describing, like that the player would get screwed over or something. If the timer runs out. Oh. I don't think it's reliable. I think I'll just leave it be. It'll just be a little side thing. Gain some extra cash. Maybe I'll make it ten bucks then. Yeah, I'll leave it at five for now. You got the extra items. Extra items. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Oh. Right, I had to... So am I controlling, am I controlling this at all? Let me see here. Okay. Okay. Okay, box. Turn the box on. Do it. ARPG creation. Good thing to watch while you comprehend the Doctor Who episode that just aired. Hello, Shadow Wisher. Welcome to Strem. And welcome to something that is certainly not Doctor Who. I write, but uh, probably not as good as, as Doctor Who. Alright, let's see. Where are we currently here? Oh, if delivered the box equals one. Never mind, I've already got a thing for this. <laughs> okay. Apparently I made variables earlier. Okay. So if delivered the box, so oh, set delivered box plus one. And you now. Okay. I think I forgot something else upstairs, didn't I? I had to put like a face on someone or something. I think it was the guard. Let me do that really fast before I forget. Yeah, it was right here. Bones. Bones. Okay, think that's fall. I think that's all hunky dory now. Let's continue onward with our adventures in Numeron I don't know if you guys think you got a way to make the thing mandatory. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to have you mess around with these keypads and stuff for uh, mandatory things. Which, by the way, I have to introduce that somehow. Hmm. I'm not quite sure how I would do that. Let's see. Actually, this window kind of bugs me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move everything over one. And drop this here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Give me some wall space here. Gotta get the top of the chair back. There we go. Here we go. Okay. I had an idea, but now I just lost it. Maybe, okay, maybe I will let you in here.
But it'll be controlled by the thing downstairs. Also, I'm trying to come up with an idea for, like, stealth rating. And you notice this variable here. Like, at the beginning of each mission, I kind of want to set your stealth rating to the number of guards in the mission that you can possibly not disturb. And depending on what your stealth rating is at the end of the mission, you get rewarded in various different ways. So what I want to do here is I want to, like, I want to give you certain rewards for being stealthy, but I want to give you other times other kinds of rewards for going loud so that both methods are like both methods have uh, some intrigue to them but then the player should be able to choose the one that's uh, that fits them the most or maybe certain certain missions will be harder one way or the other and that has the harder prize I don't know I'm trying to trying to think of some stuff here okay so if the club keypad oh shoot there's no lead zero okay so if the club keypad is Three, two, two, okay, else. What's a door like this doing here? Clearly your character would know this. Maybe we'll have to point it out somewhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, but in any case, yeah, I guess I will have to have you go in there then. So you're going to have to track down Solon, but I guess you can use this computer Adora to get the information or something. I don't know. i got to think of this jank. Okay. Hmm. What else were they doing? I think I was just coming back down here to give him something to say. Thanks for your help. The bar keeps on to your crap the whole time. But you help him. One good deed befits another, basically. So you help him with the box, you get some free items. And you get some information about the uh, the club and whatever. Now what information should we give? Should he just outright give you the keypad? And then we have it like... We have it ridiculously hard to get otherwise? Maybe that's what we can do. Although then there's a, a lot hinging on this one barkeep. Like as far as items and plot go. Maybe he can help you with something else. Uh, let's see. What else could he help you with, though? Hmm. I don't know if anyone gets any good ideas there in chat. Well, let's see. Also, I'm just now remembering that there's not really a whole lot of people in this club right now. I should, uh, a hint of finding the code. That might help. All right, I've got it. This is the jank we're going to pull.
This is the jank we're gonna pull. <laughs> oh, a specific enemy. That might be a little better. Hmm. Okay. Bones. What? Hello? Ah, there we go. I suppose I can roll with that. Hey, Jubsy. Welcome to Strem. So, Jubs, Arc 5, Holy Flid, Yuzu got wrecked. Um, we just started, what, 20 minutes ago? Oh, my... 47 minutes ago, apparently. Okay, well... <laughs> okay. Never mind. I, uh, there you go. <laughs> okay. 47 minutes ago. Uh, we made this office up here. We've got a way to get into it, and we've got pizza thieves and whatever. Okay. Wow. Dang. Fail. Yeah, apparently. Alright. Screw it, I'll just give you the three. <laughs> no, it was 77. It was, uh, it was further. Further than that. Right, Jubsy, get owned. No, okay. Terracotta, welcome to Strem. Joe's talking about pants in the group chat for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, okay. So Blaine's just gonna cut to the chase here. Give me the codes. Jobs, no. <laughs> I see you. No.
All right, there's your help. Okay. Fantastic. That's that's a good idea. What was that? Drake Hake's idea, I think it was. Um, yes, that was Drake Hake's idea. Well done. We'll, we'll go with it. Okay. So now this guy's going to have the code. All right, so let's see here. I think I have an idea of how I want to set up the stealth section. And I have to do it at the mission start. Okay. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I, I'm going to control the variable per mission. So I'm going to give you one stealth rating for each guard. You know what, though? I don't think I have a way to read the stealth rating. That's I remember what I had the problem with now, is I thought of this method before, but I couldn't think of a way to display the stealth rating on the screen for you at some point. So, like, at the end of the mission, what I basically want to happen is it says, your stealth rating was 2 out of 3, so here's something for that. Which I could just... I don't know, I could just set a, a, a branch for each of them, I suppose. But later on, when there's, like, so many enemies... I don't know, I, I guess that's what I'll just do. I can just... Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we also have to make this item shop, so I can move the save point inside the item shop, because it's actually not supposed to be just sitting there on the street by Blaine's car randomly. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what's going to happen is each time you encounter one of these guards and fight them, your stealth rating goes down. Like, it would be nice if I could just rip the stealth rating right off it. Like, if it just displays the value for variable 16 or something, but I don't know, whatever. Alright, so basically each time you fight one of these guards, it's just going to take one off. And I'll just make a bunch of branching freaking things. Blaine carries around a giant crystal ball in his car, too, yeah. So that was originally my idea, actually, is I just wanted him to be carrying it around and saving, but then, uh... If I have you, like, use Blaine's car later, and he's not with it, I would, I don't know, like, why would the other characters be lugging the thing around? So I just decided, whatever, we'll, we'll screw it, we'll put it in the, we'll just put it in the item shop and have it be done. Okay. Those electronic high-tech journals, oh boy. We're already doing that, Drake Hake. I'm, I mean for after the mission. I want it to be able to, like... I just want it to display the right thing. I mean, it's no problem here. I just have to make three... Oh, crap. I have to make four. I just have to make four branching effects. Like, one if it's zero, one if it's one, one if it's two, and one if it's three. But I'm thinking of later missions where it might be up to, like, ten or something. But I suppose I can just have set ranges. I don't know. And I'll just do, like, four conditional branches for each mission. It's just I figured there would be an easy way to just call the number. Uh, but I don't know, whatever. Uh, these guards down here will, but these guys up here are just the regular bounds. You can fight them. Because the club has logic, you see. And the club enjoys employing guards that, uh, in fact, will not do anything janky or whatever. Okay, so in any case. Let's see, I think that's it. That also might be good for this episode. Because we're kind of at uh, kind of at a crossroads here. All right. So you go loud. You can get the code off this guy. Actually, I better check one thing about this. Their attack can still mess you up though, because it has a huge damage range. I think the max it can do is seven though. Carrying a note. Okay, so it. Uh, okay. Something messed up with his graphic. I think I'm gonna just put a direction fix on it and have that try to fix it. Okay. 
Oh wow, there's the max. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread team! Hey, Angry Enclave, this is my game that I'm working on, actually. Uh, I think I fixed this earlier, didn't I? No, I didn't. What the heck? You got a suggestion involving K. Roman. K. Roman. Let's hear it, Jubsy. What is this magical suggestion which you bestow upon us? They don't maintain their building too well. Ah, oh, that kind of looks janky. Hmm. Plants? Eh, I guess that works. Whatever. Okay. What be your suggestion, Jubs? We'll write on this computer as we uh, do stuff. Oh, actually, okay, hold on. The choice that says Daikami in Fallout 4, yeah. <laughs> I have to specify out loud that it's Fallout 4, because otherwise people are going to watch this later and be like, Whoa, man. Whoa, Team UDF. What's going on? Castlevania moment must be made. Daikami, you don't belong in this world. <laughs> oh boy, wow. Okay. Alright, everybody. It's time to write more random dialogue. So, put out all your random ideas for dialogue. And these two characters here in these seats are going to say them. We'll say the ones that I choose out of your random dialogue ideas. Here's like a... What the flit? Is that like a, a bunny or something? I'll put a sailor in here for now instead. Okay. Uh, just to liven the club up a bit, because as it stands, there's not a whole bunch of people in here. And because it's an exclusive club, there should be some people just kind of rolling around at the speed of sound. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Timbuktu's underpants are stained. Well. <laughs> that sure is random. This guy's asleep at the bar. 